Hello again for USCFSales.com. This is Steve Lopez with another Chess Base 11 tip for you. We've been looking through several videos now at maneuver searches in Chess Base 11, and there's a lot of material to cover. It's not because maneuver searches are so complicated. They really aren't. They're not that complex. There's just a lot of ground to cover. It's a very powerful, very flexible tool, and we haven't even covered all of it yet. So we're going to look at something today, uh, another little toggle in the maneuver search dialog that you can use to find information that you want in Chessbase 11. We're going to use an old database, a database of games from 1830 to 1899, to search this time for pawn promotions. First of all, as you'll recall, you right-click on the database's icon and select Search, which brings up the Search Mask. Of course, we'll go to the Maneuver tab. And you'll recall from the previous videos that writing a maneuver search is just like writing a sentence. It's very easy to do. You just have to do it in a very structured, methodical way. First, you start with the color piece you want. In this case, we want a white pawn. We can type in, if we wish, <coughs> excuse me, question mark 7 to question mark 8, meaning any file, any 7th uh, rank square on any file, uh, moving to any 8th eighth, eighth rank square on any file. It, so, but it doesn't matter. It goes without, without uh, saying, if it's a white pawn that's promoting, that it has to go from the 7th rank to the 8th rank. So you can do it one of two ways. You can either be specific and type in question mark 7, and that question mark, of course, being a wild card, as you recall, meaning it can mean any value, or you can just type in two question marks. It doesn't matter which way you do it, because ultimately, <coughs> excuse me, what you're going to do is come right down here, white pawn on any square goes to any square, and promotes. You're going to put a little check in the box next to promotion. Now you can say it promotes to anything if you want, or you can specifically mention the piece that it promotes to. To do that, you come to this box right here that has the question mark, pull it down. It's actually a pull down menu. You see a click to pull it down, and it gives you a list of choices. It's the four different pieces to which a pawn may promote when it reaches the eighth rank. So we'll just go for queen promotions. That's normally what happens. Um, we'll leave everything else alone. Moves from 5 to move 40. Length doesn't matter because it's only going to be just that one move. It's not. We're not going to have a black reply in this search. And we click OK. And after a few seconds, we start getting results. And if you just click on different games and back up one move, you'll notice, for example, here there's a white pawn on b7. Captures that rook, becomes a queen. Click on another game. This one jumps us to the beginning of the game, so we know that the promotion occurs on the very last move of the game. So we scroll down here to where the king has taken on f7, and what we see here is that the white pawn on e7 captures the black queen and promotes. Click on another game, back up one move, we see exactly what happens. The pawn on b7 moves ahead one square and promotes. And the same story here, h7 to h8 and promotes. So that's the very basic bare bones how you do promotions. But there's other ways you can do it as well or other things you can do with it. And we'll go back to the search. If you want to do a black pawn promoting, all you need to do is just change your W to a B. Since you didn't put in any specific squares here, that's fine. You just click OK and you have black pawns promoting to a queen. As you see here, for example, back up one move. E2 pawn goes to E1 and promotes jumps us to the beginning of the game. So we go to the end here. Sure enough, the last move of the game is where the G2 pawn takes on F1 and mates at the same time. Same story here. Same story here. Etc. We've noticed in several of these games the pawn has actually captured an enemy piece you can specify that as well. Let's go back to the search. We'll show you how to do that. Click on search. Go to maneuvers. We'll make it a white pawn again. White pawn. Any square goes to any square. To designate that it has to be a capture with promotion, put a check in that box, which means it has to be a capture. Uh, we'll just put a question mark. Doesn't matter what piece it captures. We don't really care. So now it's a white pawn. Goes from any square to any square with a capture. So it starts in the square, takes on any square, promoting to a queen. We click OK. 
and in all the games that come up, we will notice when we back up and then make the move, here the white pawn on d7 captures the rook on e8, promoting at the same time. Same story here. Same story here. And you'll notice every single one of the games in this list involves a white pawn capturing enemy material. Something else to note, of course, is under promotions. If we go to search and we go back to the maneuver search, you can pull after a promotion. We'll get rid of the uh, capture. You can pull down the promotion box and it gives you the choices of the four different pieces that a pawn can promote to. You do occasionally find knight under promotions, of course, so click OK. You don't get a lot, but you do get some. And here you'll notice there is an under promotion. Same story here. You will find, and I have not checked this database yet, but if you do this with the Mega Database, which contains games from throughout chess history right up until the year 2010, if you do a maneuver search, and I will leave it for you to do, because it will take a while to search that database, and I'd like to keep this video fairly short. Um, you will notice that if you do check bishop or rook, you do find under promotions. You wouldn't believe it until you actually try it. Try it with the Mega Database or the Big Database 2011 if you have that one instead of Mega, either one. And uh, set up a position search, where I'm sorry, maneuver search, where a white pawn or a black pawn, either one, promotes to either a bishop or a rook, and you will be stunned at the number of games that you get. How many games there are in the historical record where players underpromote to a bishop or a rook? Now you would wonder why those players do those things, because a queen combines the moves of a bishop and a rook. Take a look. Take a look at these games. It happens. You would be amazed at how often it happens. As a matter of fact, so that's your little homework project, if you will. I'd like you to go in and do a search on a large database of games. Do searches for a white or black pawn moving from any square to any square, promoting to either a rook or a bishop. Do it on a huge database of games, preferably mega database or big database, and you will be truly surprised at how many hits you find. Until next time, for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.